Hi guys! I'm sorry, first of all, I look a bit like tired and my voice is probably gonna be, be like you, but that's because I think I'm sick. I think I like got a cold or something and I took some medicine earlier that really makes me feel super relaxed but also super sleepy. So yeah, today I am gonna talk about how to deal with loneliness because that's a question I've been getting a lot and that's something I've talked a lot about in my videos. So two years ago, okay, either two years ago or three years ago, but two years ago, I think, I experienced a very, very lonely, depressing and sad and difficult summer during which I felt really lonely, really helpless and like I could not rely on anyone. This is not because I have no friends and no family. I have very, very nice parents. I have a great sister, um, great other members of family, great other family members. I have friends, but I just felt in like super, super lonely and it was a period in my life where the people that I wanted to rely on were not here for me. This really impacted me in a very strong way because it's something that still feels really close to my heart. Like, you know, it still feels a bit painful to think about it. I have always felt slightly lonely because of the fact that I've always felt like I was not fitting anywhere. I don't know if I've really addressed that before, but when I was a child, I used to feel really out of place all of the time. I thought that I was not even human, I thought I was like an alien or something, because I just didn't relate to anyone. Like I could understand how people were feeling and how they were affected by certain things. I had a lot of empathy, but I felt like my life, my feelings, my inner life were so different. You know, I was looking at life as if it were a show on TV that was not about me, not about my species, not about the kind of being that I am. This is not something that has completely disappeared from my life. I really genuinely feel a huge gap between most people and me. Not in a nice way, not either in the way that, you know, everyone feels because we always feel disconnected somehow. From other people. The gap I'm talking about is of a different nature and this is honestly not something that I would wish to anyone. So loneliness has always been a big part of my life. When I was younger it was a bit like mm, it was kind of difficult to deal with it because I had friends but I always felt like I was not really here. You know, like even when I was with my friends and we were laughing so much there was always a part of me that was not laughing. There was always a part of me that was sort of like dead and it's really difficult to explain that it got slightly better as soon as i discovered the internet because i could meet people who were a bit more like-minded when i discovered the internet and you know like vegetarianism and the kind of music that i like and everything it, it honestly made me feel so much better like it filled a hole in my heart that had been there for I mean since I was born and it just changed my life so much I still felt disconnected from the humankind you know kind of but it got better and my relationship with my friend got better as well I had to move to Paris and leave most of my friends and the two first years were a bit difficult but I had this very very um, close group of friends that I was living with a friend of mine, I had two other friends that were in Paris and but then my friends kind of, you know, either left Paris or either like just grew distant. I started to feel really, really lonely, especially because of my social anxiety that didn't really help. I would feel so lonely that I just felt like no one loved me, like a genuine and real deep feeling of just no one cares. And I know how difficult it can be, but there are ways to deal with loneliness. The first thing is to really just see yourself as a friend. Just realize that you are your own friend. You are amazing. You can teach yourself, you know, new things. You can surprise yourself. You can have fun on your own. You can relax on your own. You can go on adventures on your own. People just sometimes take themselves for granted and they don't realize that there's a whole world of, that you can explore within yourself and that takes a lot of time and that's something that you never really achieve in your lifetime so even when I'm feeling lonely I just turn to myself and I I'm a very introspective person but I turn to myself and I wonder 
how do I feel about that? What can I create? What can I do? Do I challenge myself with anything, you know? Secondly, what's really important, I think, is to just voice and accept the fact that you're lonely. It's something we're a bit ashamed of and we're like, oh, I don't really want to have that person. I'm feeling lonely and I'd like him or her to come over or whatever. But you have to tell people if you're lonely and if you think they could be more present for you. Just don't be this very selfish prick that's like, hey, please pay attention to me. But you can still be like, I feel lonely. I'd like you to be here for me. Do you want me to come over? Could we see each other tomorrow? Most of the time, people are so busy with their own lives, which is pretty understandable, that they don't realize that you might feel this way. And very often, if you mention it to them, they'll be like, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, sure, I'm going to be here for you. If that doesn't happen, you could probably consider meeting new people. But with the internet, the internet, there are so many different ways to meet people and there are so many different kinds of people you can meet and so many different things you can share and do with people. So turn to new people if you think that the people in your life are not here enough for you. So just try new things. You know, sometimes we just wait for people to do things with us. Sometimes we just get used to having people around us. But it is also very nice to experience things on your own. For example, I realized that going to the movies alone was a great thing to do. And that running was something I like to do on my own. And that's one of the things I love to do the most. You know what? While doing these things, you could meet other people. Loneliness is a little bit difficult, yes, and sometimes it's not your fault, but sometimes it's also a bit our own fault. So you have to be a bit critical of yourself and be like, okay, well, maybe I'm doing something wrong, maybe I repeat a sort of pattern that's not really nice. Or I know that I have social anxiety and I know that it's very difficult to just be out with people, to just go to bars and um, parties or anything like that. I accept it and I try to work on it because it's never only others' fault. As much as it's never really only your fault, really. Last but not least, everything changes and everything is fluid. Just embrace what's happening to you. If you're feeling lonely right now, there might be, I'm not saying there must be, but there might be a reason why and there might be something you can learn from that. And maybe God or nature or life, whatever, put you through this in order for you to understand something. And you being lonely right now doesn't mean that you're going to be lonely for your whole life. For example, I felt so lonely two years ago, so bad, shitty as fuck, like just was horrible. Now I am enjoying life with my sister. I have met so many great people from all over the world and sometimes I miss them because they're not here yet but I feel them with me. I have people that I see daily. I have very very close friends that have stuck with me. I have friends with whom I'm not feeling as close as I used to be but I am okay with that. It took me a long time but I'm okay with that. I enjoy being on my own a lot more. This made me realize that I was an introvert um, this gave me a lot of time to research things that I like to, you know, educate myself. And I am feeling more confident now, strangely, so it's easier for me to go to people and just talk to people first. And I don't feel very lonely anymore. And I also understood that, you know, if people that I had in my life were not here for me, I had to go for other people. It doesn't mean I don't love the people that I had and still have in my life anymore. It just means for now, apparently we're not on the same wavelength and they cannot give me what I need. I'm trying to be the most positive person I can be. You know, not so that people are attracted to me because I'm doing it for myself primarily, but I really realize that people now, you know, give me such a positive feedback on the way I behave and stuff and it feels amazing. So I hope this video was slightly helpful. Please know that everyone goes through loneliness but if that's a serious issue that's really bothering you and really hurting you, talk about it with someone. Even go see a therapist because this can also be a real issue and there could be other things attached to it so yeah. But nothing is forever. So this is going to end for you I'm pretty sure if you're feeling lonely right now. And if you're feeling lonely, please know that I am thinking of you and I'm sending you a lot of warmth and a lot of love. And I genuinely think you're amazing. You have a lot of potential and you can attract other people. And you don't deserve to be treated like shit if some of your friends or family or whatever treats you like that. Just don't accept it and search for better people, more deserving of your time. Thank you for watching this video, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!